Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is such an honor and a great pleasure to receive the prestigious Global Award today. What I'm proud of is that I'm the third generation of uh, Nishida's family, and my company has just celebrated 105th anniversary this month. <laughs> my grandfather, who was the founder of uh, our company, my father and myself, namely three generations, have associated with Indian business people and Indian families. Another thing I like to mention is that I have engaged with foreign trade for 50 years long since I started to work for Nishida's company. Uh, during the whole period of uh, 50 years, I have engaged with the Indian business and we are still supplying sari fabrics to one particular customer who is the largest sari dealer in Dubai over 50 years long. The city of Yokohama I am from celebrated 150 years anniversary last year after the opening of a Yokohama seaport. Four years later, 1863, after the opening of port, many Indian merchants went to Yokohama and settled down there to engage with foreign trade. In 1923, Yokohama had a grand earthquake and it caused a tremendous damage to Indian community too. So my, most of uh, Indian merchants left Yokohama and moved to Kobe. My grandfather was very upset and very concerned about the foreign trade in Yokohama because that was depending on so much uh, on the Indian merchants. That, so that uh, he went to Kobe asking Indian merchants to return Yokohama. He was very successful in getting back about half of the merchants from Kobe to Yokohama. He was a member of uh, city councils at that time, and he even put his assets as collateral to borrow money to build 14 buildings to be used for residents and office for Indian community. <laughs> Mumbai and Yokohama have been a sister city for 45 years long and there was no other city in Japan that had a sister city in India until a few years back. What I have done myself is to establish Yokohama India Center five years ago that is composed of Kanagawa Prefectural Government, Yokohama City Government, JETRO, Yokohama Chambers of Commerce and Industry, plus eight various organizations. The objective of Yokohama India Center is to promote further closer relationship between the two countries not only for business, but also for culture, art, uh, tourism, and investment, and so on. To accomplish our objective, Yokohama India Center signed MOU, Memorandum of uh, Understanding with FIKI, Federation of India Chamber of Commerce and the Industry, and also IMC, Indian Merchant Chambers, here in Mumbai. Since, the, since we have made a remarkable progress in the uh, frequent exchanges of visitors and delegations between two countries, by taking this opportunity of receiving such an honor of the global world, I should like to make further effort for the uh, relationship between the two, two great countries. Thank you very much for attention. <laughs>